The speakers from South Asian nations took part today in the third South Asian Speakers Summit on Achieving Sustainable Development Goals, organized by the Interparliamentary Union and the Parliament of Sri Lanka, held at the Parliamentary Complex. The summit will aim to further discuss how parliaments can be a development factor, promoting the effective implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Prime Minister Anil Vikramasinghe ushered the event as its chief guest. We have also, by the th uh, 19th Amendment, created three important independent commissions. The Judicial Service Commission, the National Police Commission and the Public Service Commission, which gives independence and space for public officers to operate. We are very proud of this achievement. Together with this law, you can ensure operational independence of the officials entrusted with implementing it because the laws are good in many countries but implementation has become the biggest problem. So we've created the atmosphere for implementation and the safeguards, we've created the law. There are also problems that we have to face. One is urbanization. A large urbanization is taking place in all parts of this region. We have planned it out with the uh, western, around western Colombo and Western Province, the megapolis, together with two urban corridors, one to Kandy, about 130 kilometers, and another one down south on the coast to Hambantota. The biggest challenge we have is water. The weather has not been kind to us, but having a series of droughts, increasing population, and the movement of population from the rural air cities, which means you need water supply schemes, uh, sewerage schemes, is the other issue we have, both the cost and the availability of water. Economic growth needs to be sustainable, equitable and green if we are to achieve the objective of tackling poverty, reducing socio-economic exclusion and providing decent job opportunities. This requires dismantling barriers and expanding opportunities for people who have low incomes, are marginalized or vulnerable. Accountable public action and investment generates quality jobs Parliaments can play a vital role in conceptualizing a sustainable, equitable and green economy by setting national priorities and promoting regional corporations. Parliament must take the responsibility of monitoring this process and ensuring its uh, qualitative achievements. They must also identify the required financing for the implementation of strategies.